today I come up with new video for you. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to press like, share, subscribe and bell icon given below. Today we are going to preset or measure this uh, end mill for flute. It, you can see this end mill have four flutes and you can see this have a four cutting edges at the top and as I am rotating you can see these this is a end mill solid carbide end mill is this and with the help of this zoller we have manually come closer to that end mill and you can see uh, the infrared radiation we come close to this end mill top and at the screen you can see the image of that tool with the help of infrared radiation at this quadrant you can see here how we have how we have put, uh, put this tool as at this quadrant we have to measure this z and x value z means the height of the tool and x is in the radius and we are measuring in the radius format of the tool and you can see as I am rotating the tool and it is showing on the screen and we will override here the name of the tool by clicking on the keyboard the we are pressing the end mill tool here with a size 16 mm diameter you can see there you can see how the description we have right now we press back and cutter shape we will put here 21 as generally we take 21 and the measuring mode we will take measuring and C mode then we have cutter on counter as you can see there is a four cutting edges so that we have put four and auto external we put on focus auto external and 3.6 measuring range and we play back these values z and x here and then we'll we will press f5 at the bottom or the measuring after playbacking then we press this f5 measuring values and it is focusing automatically you can see the left side tool is rotating and infrared radiations are focusing the greater and sharp corner automatically and it will focus four different edges four yeah. times and sure. will give this uh, then you get this screen automatically now there is four values for x and z for the four different ages and their minimum and maximum values you can see and then we you you we will go back by pressing f12 here you can see we will press it and go back to uh, see the actual values you can see here the uh, x and z values and now we will press ctrl e and get the printout in this way we will measure